Apurva Gupta, Assistant Professor in Department of Biani International Institute of Engineering and Technology, welcomes you all on behalf of Guru KPO for a video lecture on topic Speed Control of Electrical Drives. For the better explanation of speed control of electrical drives, let me take you all on this flow chart of speed control of electrical drives. Basically, speed control of electrical drive is important as we all know the functioning of any of electrical machine depends upon its speed control. Imagine a case when you are feeling hot and you want to increase the speed of the fan and the speed control system of that fan is not working properly, then won't you be able to uh, uh, will you be able to control the speed of the fan? No. Same in the case uh, if you are running a bike or riding a bike and you see a vehicle in front of you want to decrease the speed of that bike, what will do? You will uh, give your order to the sensors that uh, decrease the speed of bike but if the speed control system of that bike is not working properly then what will happen? You won't be able to control the speed of the bike and might can have uh, might a uh, collision can happen with the in front vehicle. So the speed control portion of any drive is very important and today we are not uh, we are uh, now going to have a look on how we control that speed. Now first we have the power supply. This power supply is the basic supply which we have from any of the government firm or the private firm. It can be single phase AC, three phase AC or DC any type of power supply which you are getting from the government but your need is uh, might be different from uh, what you are getting from the government. For example, you, uh, from governments you are getting single phase AC and you require to run a DC generator. Then you need to convert that AC into DC or you are getting single phase, single phase supply or you want a three phase supply then also you need a converter. If you are getting DC supply and you want a AC output for AC generator then also you need a converter. These all converters come into second section known as power modulator. We have generally four type of power modulator. First type of power modulator is rectifier. In rectifiers we have AC to DC conversion means from the main supply we are getting AC and if electrical drive is of DC type then we will use rectifiers as a power modulator to convert that AC into DC. Second type of power modulator is choppers. In choppers what we can do we can convert the fixed DC supply to variable DC. For example I am getting from the government 220 volt DC supply and my requirement is 100 volt DC supply then I will be employing a chopper as a power modulator for converting that fixed DC of 220 volts into 100 volt variable DC. Third type of power modulator is inverter. Inverters are employed whenever we are uh, requiring to convert DC supply to AC supply. We'll employ a inverter as a power modulator and last but not least cyclo converters. Cyclo converters are employed whenever we are requiring some different AC value and getting some different AC value. Means if I am getting uh, 220 volts AC from the government but my requirement is again like 100 volt DC then I will be employing a cyclo converter. So second unit of my speed control electrical drive is power modulators. They will convert the power we are getting to the power we need. Next we have electrical drive. This is the basically the drive of which we need to control the speed. It can be of any type DC generator, AC generator, induction motors, cycle uh, induction motors, uh, stepper motors, reluctance motor, any kinds, self excited motor, it can be any kind of electrical drive. Now this is the output or basically the load, this is the result basically which we will get. Now uh, the important part in the speed control is the sensor. Without sensing the need of uh, if we are wanting to increase the speed or decreasing the speed we won't be able to take the decision. So the main portion is the sensor. Imagine I want to decrease the speed by 10 kilometers per hour and I just decrease it by 5 kilometers per hour. Then the sensor will sense that at 5 kilometer per, per hour speed decreasing is also needed is remained. This sensor will give that signal to that control unit. Now this control unit will take the decision that you have to decrease the speed by more 5 kilometers per hour and this control signal will next be provided to power modulator. Power modulator will regulate the power supply in the desired resultant. 
and then it will be supplied to electrical drive. Same way these sensors can also sense the uh, these sensors in human life you can relate by your eyes. Your eyes will see that uh, uh, will measure the distance of the in front vehicle and give the control signal to mind that uh, decrease the speed fast or slowly. Uh, means if you are having a uh, you are you will see you see the turn. 100 meters apart from you, your vehicle then you will just lower the speed but if you see a tree in front of 10 meters then you will instantly put uh, instantly use the brakes. These sensors form a very important part next control unit and this whole control loop cycle will basically provide us the uh, uh, provide our speed control of electrical drives. Thank you, thank you and thank you.